of the powers vested in me as the Chancellor of the University of Zululand, I hereby constitute this congregation for the conferment of degrees and awarding of diplomas and certificates. You may be seated. Chancellor, Chief Justice Raymond Nyamezel Zondo, Chairperson of, of the University Council, Mr. Marashak Taluza, in absentia, the Vice Chancellor of the University of Zululand, Professor Kolusam Dose, in absentia, members of council may acknowledge the presence of Ms. Masite, who is the chair of the Audit and Risk Committee of Council. She's here with us this afternoon. The President of the Convocation, Mr. Nguanyana, in absentia, the Chair of the Institutional Forum, Professor Hreling, in absentia, members of Executive and Extended Management, members of Senate, all university staff members, members of the Convocation and alumni, representatives from the Mkwanaze Traditional Authority, chiefs of the local traditional authorities, mayors of the district and local municipalities, our SRC President and Secretary General, uh, both uh, Mr. Kumalos, business partners, donors and sponsors, the student body at large, parents, guardians, and relatives of the graduates. And most importantly, our graduates. May I also acknowledge the presence of our guest speaker this afternoon, Dr. Itsualo. Good afternoon. Sanibonani, Molweni, Kuyemera. Jambo Dumelang. On behalf of the Vice Chancellor and Principal of the University of Zululand, Professor Mdose, it is with a sense of profound collective triumph that I welcome you to the last, very last session of the 2023 graduation ceremony, ceremonies that have been going uh, throughout this week. These occasions have become an annual ritual where all of us, graduates, parents or guardians, sponsors, society at large, as well as university staff, commemorate the pinnacle of the work we have done over the years. Beyond the festivities, a graduation ceremony must be seen as a moment of deep reflection. It symbolizes a bridge a bridge we cross 
in a lifelong journey of human progress from basic and foundational knowledge encountered and acquired during the first time we interact at the chalk floor to the attainment of higher order knowledge, skills, and competences that equip us with capabilities for making a difference in society. In this sense, the awarding or conferment of a qualification is not an end in itself. It is rather an impetus for lifelong learning that should spew out new imaginations for the development of better life for all, free from the shackles of poverty, inequality, and other forms of human strife. Indeed, the ideas of creating a better life for all are implied in the debates about the purpose of university education. At the University of Zululand, we subscribe to a, a perspective which advocates and promotes a form of education that produces and disseminates knowledge and competences, which enable graduates to engage in meaningful and productive work aimed at enhancing the livelihoods of the people of the community at large. In this connection, we draw insights from thinkers such as Franz Fanon, who advocates that what matters is not to know, but to change, I'm, I'm sorry, what matters is not to know the world, but to change it. Fanon goes on further to say, in the world through which I travel, I am endlessly creating myself. Close quotes. The purpose of university education, driven by such thinking, must manifest itself at three levels. That is, the macro, meso, and micro levels of society. At the macro or wider societal level, one of the main implications to derive from Fanon's words of wisdom is that the number and quality of graduates that exit universities must constitute the building blocks and catalysts to be deployed for the development of a learning society or a society that learns. Scholars like Han 2019 have described a learning society as, I quote, a model society in which the collective learning by itself, in which the, the collective learning process is prevalent, equipped with competency to solve the problems inside by itself through consistent imagined evolution and learning. Close quotes. Striving to achieve the status of a learning society is commended as a game changer in the transformation of a given political economy and the attainment of sustainable development. We therefore must look up to our graduates to become the promoters for the creation of learning in our South African society. The melting pot for all this is at university or meso level. At UNIZULU, we have embraced the responsibility to build a learning institution, one where continuous learning is used to transcend stifling preoccupation with survival demands and setting the organization on to a higher order service-oriented growth. The history of UNIZULU attests to a trajectory that has seen the institution emerge from the proverbial edge of an abyss poised between failure and success and evolving to become a rekindled university that is being set onto a path of reinvention anchored 
on an unexcelled Vision 27 under the mantra of being of building Unizulu as a node for African thought. Launched in November 2022, we can appreciate the significance of the idea of African thought when we juxtapose it with Western thought or worldview. We can recall that in recent years, South African universities had to deal with the hashtag student campaigns, which called for a decolonized university curriculum, describing the current curricula as Western-oriented and alienating, and citing, among other things, the use of Western-based literature to support learning. The student movement also resonated with a growing body of contemporary academic intellectual currents that have characterized the curriculum of South African universities as one of the main mechanisms by which colonial power continues to be exercised in ways that sustain the oppressive world order. Much like what Steve Biko observed that, I quote, the most potent weapon of the oppressor is the mind of the oppressed, close quotes. Put differently, by continuing to subject students to a curriculum aligned to the oppressor, the colonizer achieves compliance through mental control or the way people think. Such a state of affairs is not only dehumanizing, but it, is, it also clearly shows a purpose of education that is in dissonance with the objective needs and interests of our people. In UNIZULU Vision 27, you, sorry, UNIZULU Vision 27 envisages a nuanced understanding of the purpose of university education. It goes beyond a narrow conception of education, which produces employable but dehumanized capital, to one that encompasses emancipatory and liberative functions. In other words, while university education can be used for subjugation, at UNIZULU, we keenly subscribe to the view that it also plays an important preeminent role in the development of public consciousness, in the generation of new knowledge and competences that are necessary for meaningful functioning in a complex and ever-changing modern society. Inside the melting pot of universities are individual students who, in the final analysis, constitute the locus of investment in the decolonization and transformation efforts. It is at this micro level that transformative learning takes place and gets aggregated at societal level. In this connection, UNIZULU has continuously paid attention to the enhancement of graduate attributes, that is graduateness. Our motivation has been to help students acquire a set of personal qualities, competencies and values over and above the cognitive skills and their disciplines. Cultivating graduateness includes the development of certain attitudes and orientations towards the labor market, self-development, and responsible citizenship. The purpose here is to strike a balance between education for the marketplace and education for good citizenship. So that by the time a student exits university, he or she is a rounded individual. 
By allowing a student to graduate, the university is therefore making a powerful statement about the individual's readiness to take up his or her rightful place as a productive citizen in an increasingly complex and unpredictable world. It is a world in which, on the one hand, a graduate has to grapple with challenges of correcting the past by participating in the recalibration of development in terms of local indigenous populations in a way that re-establishes their dignity and self-determination. And on the other hand, championing in an inclusive way the so-called smart approaches to development in the context of the fourth industrial revolution, digital and technological advances. There is no option to ignore or even choose to prioritize these imperatives of modern South African life as they have become embedded in the purpose of university education. Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very pleased to inform you that in 2023, we are graduating a total of 3,542 students. 3,128 of which are undergraduates. 289 honors, 77 masters, and 50 doctorates. The quality of the graduates we produce is as important as the number that successfully meet the requirements of their qualification. In this respect, the purpose of university education is to achieve equity of student success. UNIZULU as a so-called historically disadvantaged university institution has made huge strides towards flattening the statistical curve that was showing severe underperformance of the underprivileged students who constitute most of our student population. Our strategy of making students success the driving force of our teaching and learning practices is showing results. In one of his books, The Pedagogy of the Heart, a well-known Brazilian educationist, Paulo Freire, wrote that, I quote, recognize the obstacles, but I refuse to resign in silence, close quotes. This statement captures the spirit with which you are overcoming impediments to achieving equity of student success. As I conclude, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to take this opportunity to invite you, the graduates, to join the University of Zululand Convocation. This is a statutory body of which you automatically become a member by virtue of obtaining a qualification from this university. The convocation elects members to university structures and through its affiliated alumni associations supports the work of the university in many other ways. We hope that as an alumnus, you will be able to contribute to the success of this university. We are also confident that the success you are celebrating today will energize you to actively ensure that your alma mater continues to soar to greater heights of excellence. Once again, a warm welcome to all of you and wishing you a meaningful and productive life after university. Diabonga, I thank you very much. Chancellor, now it is my great pleasure to introduce our guest speaker for this session, Dr. Betha Letsualo. 
I will read her short biography. Dr. Bethua Letswalo is the Corporate Services Executive at AgriCita. Uh, sorry, at AgriCita Corporate Services, and she oversees the subunits, human resources, ICT, and marketing and communications. Dr. Litsualo, who's affectionately known as Dr. B, has over 20 years experience in the field of human resources management and development in the public sector, including corporate services. She is registered with the South African Board of People Practices as a child chartered HR professional generalist. Dr. Litsualo is experienced in human resource management, administration, and human capacity development, which she obtained at the departments of correctional services, education, and health. Prior to joining Agricita, Dr. Litsualo held a similar position at the Greater Litaba Local Municipality, the Pelengumbi Municipality, in the office of the Premier in Limpopo province. She's a supporter of women's rights and a social activist who participates in her community. Dr. Litsualo has a PhD in human resources development from the University of Johannes Beck. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Dr. Litsualo uh, to deliver her keynote speech. Thank you very much. The chairperson of the council in absentia, council members, Chancellor, Chief Justice, Arzondo, the Vice Chancellor, the Deputy Vice Chancellors, the Deans of various faculties, directors, professors, lecturers, the Chairperson of the ARC, the President of the SRC, protocol observed. I will make a mistake if I don't greet and acknowledge our parents who are here and our graduates. Be greeted in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you, I was speaking in one event similar to this one, and I greeted people in the name of Jesus. One old professor that I know came to me and said, Dr. B, you don't greet people in the name of Jesus in that platform. <laughs> greet them in the name of academic excellence. <laughs> so I'm comforted here because I've seen in the first session that the bishop was praying. So I, I'm grateful. Chancellor, I consider this a great honor to be invited to speak in this graduation ceremony of the University of Zululand today. This invitation came at the time when AgriCita is intending to expand its tripartite collaboration uh, in all the other provinces. The project has been put to test in Limpopo province and it has worked. It is between Agricita as the funder, the TVET colleges and agricultural colleges, as well as the universities. The aim of the project is breaking barriers where our TVET, university, our TVET students, when they want to continue their studies to proceed in the universities, the barriers are not there. There's a bridge where they don't have to start afresh. So talking to the University of Zululand, 
I, I would say that the agricultural colleges around here, if there are students who intend to pursue their studies in agricultural field, need not start afresh, but get in, join in, enroll, and continue. So that is the tripartite uh, collaboration that we are considering to bring into this province. Again, as Agricita, we are mandated to forge partnerships with universities. There are various programs that we are funding as a way of improving skills, you know, skills development in the agricultural sector. We all know that agriculture is one of the economic drivers of our country. So there are those programs and we are intending, we are looking forward to, to join hands, to collaborate with the University of Zululand uh, in skilling our people. Just to mention a few, we've got graduate placement programs, we've got we're funding bursaries for both undergrads and postgrads, and many other. To our graduates today, let me say to you that today marks an important day of your lives, yet it is the beginning of a new journey. To this point, it is an important achievement in itself to which I commend you. I know it was not easy. I know there has been some ups and downs, but you have made it. And we are all here to celebrate you. Not forgetting, of course, the parents, the friends and relatives who are here. We know that you have contributed a lot, including the university staff, lecturers, and everyone else involved. This day is exciting because you will be conferred with a qualification which will make you an active economic participant, a game changer in your circle of life, and possibly a significant contributor to the desired change of our socioeconomic outlook. Do not doubt yourself. Do not look down on yourself. Do not be let down by the fact that in our country we have got a high unemployment rate. Believe in yourself. Know that the future is very bright. This is the day, of course, where we witness the epitome of rewarded hard work. You will possess something that no one can take away from you, a key to success and an authenticated credibility. Let me say to you that this qualification, which will be conferred to you today, might not work for you if you will go home and put it in your closet. It, you need to stand and take action. If there's one sentence Zulu of Zulu language that I know is that that is the only thing that I know. <laughs> Let me say that as Agricita, we have an app called Connect Me App. It is also in our website if you visit it. Its aim is to make sure that we connect our graduates in the agriculture field and any other skill that has been identified as critical, even the support services, of course, to the employers. You go into our website, you register, and then there will be employers. There are al always employers who come and identify the graduates that they would like to employ. So I want to encourage you, visit our website, register, and get connected with the employers. You don't have to sit at your own corner. There are many pathways that one can pursue from this point moving forward. 
You may be intending to go out and seek employment or to embark on entrepreneurship with your qualification. Let me say to you that whatever you set your mind on, possibilities are endless for you is to know that you are able, you can do it. You can be an active contributor into our economy. It is a fact, uh, Chancellor, that our society is plagued with many challenges. But if we effectively address them, you know, I can talk of poverty, I can talk of unemployment rate, or even inequality, as stated in our national uh, development plan. So these challenges, they need you. They require you, as our graduates, to contribute, to be able to provide solutions. There are many of them, I may not mention them. You speak of, uh, 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 you can speak of the crisis in energy which affects the agricultural field. You can speak of global warming. You can speak of many other. They all need problem solvers. They need innovators who can be able to think critically. We all know that the World Economic Forum has also identified the top 10 skills. Creativity is one of them. Innovation is one of them. Critical thinking is one of them. And looking at you like this today, I know in front of me it's critical thinkers. It's problem solvers who will be able to positively contribute. Let me say that you have to do your bit to change the economic status of our country. You don't have to feel like what is happening out there, what you read on social media covers you. Know that you are unique, you are independent. All you need to do is to have your vision, have your dreams and implement them. I would encourage you to incline your ear to various frameworks of government be it the NDP, the medium-term uh, strategic framework, you, you name them. Those frameworks, they will be able to allow you to know the direction which government is taking. And at the same time, know the opportunities that exist, despite the challenges that we are facing as a country. I say to you, be very much observant and be able to identify the opportunities considering that you have a qualification. You have something that no one can take from you. What is required is for you to apply the knowledge, what you have learned uh, in your lecture rooms. You know very well that most, if not all, of the products or the services that we consume today are as a result of someone who solved a particular problem. What you need to do is to ask yourself, what is it that you are going to solve moving from here? Yes, you have been added in the community of the graduates, but what is your vision? What is it that you intend to do in solving and contributing into our economy? Let me write on the words of encouragement further from uh, the philanthropist uh, Martin Luther King Jr. when he said that, if you can't fly, run. If you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an expansion which better places and interprets the meaning of long walk to freedom, which we all know. I know very well that it was not easy for you to be here today. There were ups, there were downs. Even outside there, after you have graduated, there will be some ups, there will be some downs. You will apply for jobs, you will start businesses, expect that those ups and downs will be there. But for you, is to be focused and move forward. Chancellor, I'm well aware that time is a scarce commodity. 
Let me end by saying this lastly to our graduates. I'm going to quote the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 3. It says that, commit your actions to the Lord and your plans will succeed. Let me say to you, go out there, make your mark, but don't go alone. Go with the Lord.
Councillor, on that case, I shall now proceed with conferring degrees and award diplomas and certificates. May I request the candidates to take up their positions. May I also call upon the Dean of the Faculty of Science, Agriculture and Engineering, Professor Lithonia, to present the candidates for various degrees and diplomas. Chancellor, I now have the honor to request Professor Lithonia, the Dean of the Faculty of Science, Agriculture and Engineering, to present the graduates to you. Chancellor, I request you to confer postgraduate degrees to the candidates as well as those persons in absentia whose names appear in the program. By virtue of the powers vested in me, I confer the postgraduate degrees on the candidates and on the persons whose names appear on the program. Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you Doctor of Nursing candidate. I, I confer the degree of Doctor of, of Nursing on the candidate. Anne Suzanne Dubé. Her study is titled Person Centered Caring Towards the Improvement of Diabetic Food Care compliance in rural primary health care, KwaZulu-Natal. The study was supervised by Prof. J. K. I will now call the supervisor to come and read the summary of the thesis. In KwaZulu-Natal, 2,500 diabetic foot amputations are carried out annually. Foot examinations and foot care ed education are rare within the KwaZulu-Natal Public Health Service. Person-centeredness uh, person and caring can potentially improve foot care outcomes for patients with type 2 diabetes mellitus. Registered nurses believe that they are nursing the cues. Patients agreed that they are cared for with compassion. Patients with type 2 diabetes mellitus and their foot care is neglected in rural communities. Diabetic foot care was only done when problems were identified. There is no preventative diabetic foot care performed. The findings of the study identified a need for an in-service training program for registered nurses, which considers the rurality of the King Jetwayo district of KwaZulu-Natal. And the study outcome was then a developed training program, which equips registered nurses with the knowledge to implement person-centered caring while managing the foot care of patients with type 2 diabetes. Chancellor, I present to you Anne Suzanne Dubé. Thank 
Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Dr. Yuber. Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you Master of Nursing candidates. By virtue of the powers invested in me, I confer the degree of Master of Nursing on the candidates whose names appear on the program. Jablisiwe Gertrude Gian. Nomzamo Kumal. Nukolo Tule Matab. Wait, wait, wait. Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you Master of Science in Agriculture in Animal Science. Yeah. I confer the degree of Master of Science, Agriculture, Animal Science on the candidates whose names appear on the program. Ngelenganyo Elaine Macard, degree with distinction. Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you Bachelor of Science Honors in Consumer Science candidates. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science Honors in Consumer Science on the candidate. On the candidates whose names appear on the program. Samgelo Makanya. Noloazi Priti Mpanza. Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you 
Bachelor of Consumer Science in various fields of studies. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Consumer Science in various fields of science on the candidates whose names appear on the program. Dondo Butelezi. Sbonagali so shongwane. Nombulelo Cassandra Mavunta. Luyanda Akona Mbata. Nosipo Snotile Mbata. Kukuletu Angel Mkunu. Ayanda Notando, Namu Lungani, Namu Nomaquezi, Naleti, Kumani. Nogbongwa Kwanyana Vuyo Wendy Skubutu Nogas Mulo, Paramile, Sitoli Magabongwe, Pulu Sikoliwe Doyake Zulu Minente Biela Sinetanta Priti Biela Tabiso Sibonelo Biela
Owethu asanele cele. Mandisa purity dangazele. Kanisani sianda jaja. Nombilo kuku jamini. Nomfundo spesile chiane. Lungelwa linate kuboni. Tutugo. Matonda Nondu Tuzo Makeba Sandiswa Makanya. Gabisi le priti mapasa. Nogzola mjalose. Sibusisiwe mjalose. Samuel Siwe, Minente, Mkaka. Tulani Lungelo, Mtongo. Tobega, Nogbonga, Mshanga. Zatolani Mkwanazi. Ignatia Sichabile Mkize. Tembeli Ishe Mlambo. Tabiso Leonard Ndaweni. Londega Mendi Mguni. Dombente mtuwa. Tulebona. Molimong.
Heni Ntembu. Melusi Sitembi So Ntembu. No guanta mieni. Temsile ilaini debele. Shelile Nelisiwe Jovu Sianeliswa Fortunate Jovu Talente Jovu Samgelo Ketogushe Nobo Oluetu Gubo Pamela Gubo Malbongwe Bayanda Nwele Mubane Mumalo Pilile Nogwetemba Shandu Mandi Isi Kangelani Tabete Nomfundo Nosipo Zwane Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you Bachelor of Nursing Science candidates. I, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Nursing on the candidates whose names appear on the program. Amanda Biela. Nogufiga Biela Nogazi Biela
Sandisiwe, nonte telelo, biela. Tandega, butelezi. Asanda Innocentia Jamin Telogu she no guanda jamin. Sipelele sitembile jamin. Tintualo, I save you, Jamin. Nonto Chugo, Felicia, Nonto Bego, Numisa. Siabonga, Peggy, Kumete. Standwa, Sinotile, Nonzuzo, Shongwa. Ketogu, She, Shongwane. Bangani Sbache Shope Viewe Sutua Sinetemba Kanyile. Chezipi zotwa kumalo. Humla kumalo. Sinentanta kuzwayo. Ayanda sibonga gonke kupega.
Sia bonga, ngondo, kunene. No guanda, no fundo, mabaso. Bongi, gift, mabuza. Olani Maxwell Makanya Tandiwe Makoba Stembiso Cyril Makubo Nomnoto za malinga, malinga. Koliswa, Janet, mapumulo. Londiwe, goodness, masinga. Kumlani Togozani Masinga Wandile Stabile Matenjwa Noloazi Chausin Nonte telelo mazibubo. Nogwanda sanelsiwe mbata. Zandile nosipo mbeche. Tobega mpele. Sfiso pilangomusa bogazi. Anele, fortunate mjalose. Velile nomvelo Samantha Mjalose Siatoba Anele Mjovu Koslondile Batobile mzuli. Tandega loveness mkonza.
no smilo pana no mvamo penelope mkati Pilile sinetemba ntembu. Nogbonga londiwe nala. Kuku no glunga ngube. Nungile immaculate ngwaba. Sishe prudence ndinisa the decree obtained with the steel shield. Nomisha, Nyakula, Nobo. Malegelwa, Sipo, Gubane. Tabile Gubane Asanda Owami Gubeni Zanele Kamgile Gwena Vuyo Kala Tandega Patricia Tele. Pumla Voisile Timbane Sanele Lomfula Timbane Zanele sanelsiwe tombela. Nogbonga tuli. Noctula Tuli Zanele Zamaswazi Nyebe
Lolo Azi Posha Sangweni. Zinke Mbali Skosana. Trinity Witness Shabang. The Logo She Shandu. Tobega Zugiswa Shandu. No sipo, no loazi, shazi. No loazi, spesiche, sibia. Zeketelo, balente. Sibia Andile Nomfuzo Sishangu Simpiwe no mfundo sitole. Tandoluetu sitole. Zama beisi. Tabete. Yombifuti Zungu. Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you Bachelor of Science candidate. Is it this one? I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science on the candidate whose name appears on the program. Simiso Ntando Kamin. Chancellor. I have the honor to present to you Bachelor of Science in Agriculture in respective fields. 
I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science in Agriculture in various fields on the candidates whose names appear on the program. Bonguisa Mzwandile Tumisa. Sipo Meli Kambula. Nogutula and Kosazana Kulu Lindogu Innocent Mabaso Mvelo Machozi. Valente Kevakel Makwakwa Saziso Samgelo Mbambo Zinche Mbacha Binabandu Mpumelelo Ngomezuli Mahomoti Alfred Moroti Kuku Miriam Mtetwa. Nondobego Lucia Mtetwa. Kosi ni mele nduandwe. Londiwe Lorraine Ngema. Lungeleni Saneli siwe ngubane. Sbongseni kosi. Chandolwe to Pel Sibia Chandogu She Mandega Sitebe.
pamanda tusini. Machezwa taba. Nonjabulo sipindi le butelezi. Anele Precious Jamini. Nonjabulo Dube. Togo zani siya bonga duse. Tuli iswa zotile kumeke. Olile Giane Ganyezi Halala Kaba. Seluane Raoule. Pindile Zanele Kumalo. Sianda Senzo. Kumalo. Notando Mbalente Kuzwayo. Suppose to Tabi so long. Nadisi Mabaso. Siposee tu makaula.
nondumiso lethiwe masindane piwa mayisela Muzi wenta anta mnelisi mbacha. Sianela samkelo mbacha. Nondu chugo mbale nche mjeche. Nondu miso shengiwe mpegai. Nondu lulego tobile mkize. Lungelo edi mtembu. Tabile kiniso precious mtembu. Police wa Queenet Mtetwa. Nondu miso inosentia ngema. Bandile win sele. Nonsigalelo tulisile zibande. Amashe inosentia chiza. Gwanele ntuli. Sipesi ishe ngumalo. Pinogu ishe, sipiwesi ishe nzuza. Lungani Shabalala. Singobile sinogubonga sibia. Vuyiswa twala. Ayanda spogazi taba. Mbali pengu. Mbali pengu. 
Lindo Ushe, Prince Biela. Mtogozi Sanele Butelez. Osingi pile jaja. Osinati piwa inkosi live long juja. Shagani pani. Kumeke. Nonta zeko liya ngobile shachwayo. Priti Kanyile. Mandisa Blossom Koza. Nolutando Bupega. Nyaniso Tutugo Kespa Limba Sinakogonke Sandile Mabanga Makosazana Busisiwe Zama Matinga Simpiwe Beatrice Makaye. Gabo Gamama. Notando Masango. Sandile Herbert Matebula Lungelo Mtandeni Mavimbela Anele Notando Mazibugo Luyanda Fisogushe Mazibugo Paneles Bone Ayanda Mkunu Sifundo Colin Mguni Sp 
Petelo Msweli. Kula Sande Mtembu. Velemseni Sandile Mtembu. Nokolo Bonagele Mtetwa. Tamsanga Mazwi Mtetwa. Ululego Rewat Enka Mzileni Monji Ndwanjwe Njabulo Lindelani Ndwandwe. Standiwe Ngobo. Londiwe Ngabinde. Simile Tembi Nyakeni Bongeka Tebile Ulu Chancellor, I request you to award diplomas and certificates to the candidates as well as those persons in absentia whose name appear in the program. I award diplomas and certificates on the candidates and those whose names appear on the program who are in absentia. Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you Diploma in Hospitality Management Candidates. I award the Diplomas in Hospitality Management on the candidates whose names appear on the program. Kuku Joyful Biela Osinati Sipose Tu Dube Snenjanta Patience Sabisa
Non do me so Mary and Como. No Luyolo Mazala. Sbusiso Matondo. Yes. Nontanta Makwaza. Londega Notando Mataba. Zanele Mbuyazi. Andile Blessing Mtetwa. Sabelo Telani Mieni. Sbongo Gushe Mzukwa. Tabiso Ntutuko Ndimande. Lutando Ndunge. Pindile Amanda Ngobo. Nomsa Abigail Nkenyama. Nomfundo Immaculate Kosu. Simbonge, praise well, nyawo. No lutando, no sipo, nyawose. Boniswa, rubushe. Olile no Musa Sibia. Olile Nelile Smelane. Spiwe Tabiso Tembe. Megazeli Victor Yimba Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you Diploma in Sports and Exercise Technology Candidates.
I confer the, I award the diploma in sports and exercise technology on the candidates whose names appear on the program. Kembeli Ishe Bela Busani, degree with distinction. Nongululego Tele. Apiwe Kiliza Lutando Daniel. Sandisile Hope Jamini, diploma obtained with distinction. <laughs> Tobega Nogubonga Jamini, diploma obtained with distinction. Pumelele Hazel Jamuka Jagani Po Duma. Mpolisi ndogozo funeka. Spelele kita. Nondumiso mobile kumete. Diploma obtained with distinction. Nombuso Kumisa Spepile Chali Kayla Angela Yansen Diploma obtained with distinction. Andiswa, uh, Andi Siwe, Jiki, obtain, diploma obtained with distinction. Yalutolo, Kanisani, Giane. Nogubongwa Langelise Giane Spesise Keswa Lindogushe Koza Snendogozo Wendy Kubisa Snellisiwe Tandega Kumalo Luvuyo Prince 
Guboni. Not all precious Mazala. Nombuso confidence, Matonzela. Diploma obtained with distinction. No wonder, no more Makwaza. Diploma obtained with distinction. Nombundo Spelele Makwaza. Snobile Makwaza. Stabile Sam Rose Makwaza. Diploma obtained with distinction. Bongiwe Mashanu. Non tobego figile manele. Buyani tandoyengosi matenjwa. Nelly Swa Paulet Mavuso, diploma obtained with distinction. Sanele Mkun Minente Ngobani Msongo Nobuse Nogwanda Msongo Zanele Zamani Mkize Sipelele Nogwanda Mkwanazi Amanda Silindile Mgati Mbuiseni Luk Mgomezul Tabang remember blessing Molef Simangele Silindile Mbanza. The temple is so prudence mte mtembu. Msizi chefri mtetwa. Minenche spesiche mtimkulu. Diploma obtained with distinction. Nondando Zine Mtomben, Diploma obtained with distinction. Mtolisi Kulani Mvelase. Awande Simpiwe Ngobo. Langelise Mendi Nobo.
Batini Ngema, diploma obtained with distinction. Pesisha Simpiwe Ngema, Diploma obtained with distinction. Sinotando Ngubane, Diploma obtained with distinction. Lindoguse Brandy Nkwanyana, Diploma Obtained with Distinction. Mpendulo Emmanuel Nchangasi. Sanele Silindile Ngumalo. Diploma obtained with distinction. Anele Cynthia Pagati. Diploma obtained with distinction. Tulebona Spamanda Poswa. Sinatamba Mnetis Radeb, Diploma obtained with distinction. Sanele Shabane. Sindisiwe Shabane. Nobuse Shane. Ayanda Siambonga Sibande. Luyanda Sibisi. Andi Swa Sitole. Alinda Bridget Wusiwe. Nobile Zibane Nobile Zulu Diploma obtained with distinction
Okay, let us take up our seats so that we can proceed.
Order, please. Order, please. We want to proceed with, the, with our program. Stella, Stella, sit to the canane, to please. Thank you very much. We are now in a session to announce top achievers from the Faculty of Science, Agriculture, and Engineering. This award is sponsored by the Vice Chancellor of the University of Zululand. Professor Amtos. Every year, the Vice Chancellor sponsors five top achievers in, in the four faculties. The award recognizes students who obtained an average of 75% and above for all modules completed in their qualification. In this session, the award goes to three candidates. And I will now call the three candidates to come to the podium to receive their awards. The first candidate is Ms. Kyla Angela Janssen, obtained the <laughs> obtained the diploma with a one. And the last candidate is Mrs. Sithle Prudence Denise.
Chairperson of Council, Ms. Namarashi at Aloza, in her absentia, Chancellor of the University of Zuland, Raymond Nyamazili Zondo, Vice Chancellor, Prof. X. Mtose, in her absentia, President of Convocation, Ms. Nkwanyana, in absentia, Program Director, University Staff President, President of the SRC, Mr. Sam Gela, yeah, yeah, my million, niggas win poop, come on. And the entire leadership of the SRC present. University Management Executive, Deans of Faculties, Dean of Students, Dr. Ngogazi, our guest speaker, Abazali, Oguibona, that have been with us, supporting and nurturing us, and finally, the graduates, Osinga Abo. Salmona. Ne apila bo Mr. West. <laughs> My name is Pili so Kulan Kuman. The Secretary General of the SRC. Receive my warm and heartfelt greetings. We meet today to celebrate the journey of a black child whose journey has been flawed by challenges emanating from a poor background. We meet today to celebrate the victory of the downtrodden, dehumanized, and degraded. Today, we join hands with the young people from the dusty streets of our country to celebrate this animal's victory. We rejoice because it has not been easy for us as young black children growing up in a society characterized by anti-education stereotypes and anti-intellectual mob, triple challenges, drug abuse, and many other challenges facing our country. We rejoice because some of us have been told you are good for nothing, but we still made it. Young people, we must not end here. We must take up the fight against the high rate of unemployment. It is young, educated people who have the responsibility to take this country forward. Franz Fanon correctly explicated that, and I quote, each generation must, out of relative obscurity, discover its mission, fulfill it, or betray it. Close quote. It is up to us whether we betray or fulfill our mission. Our mission should not only end with us getting our degrees as a generation, we must become agents of change in our communities and be exemplary leaders in everything we do. A rhetorical question would, if it is not us, then who? If not now, then when? The spiraling level of unemployment is a sign that we must all change our thinking toward entrepreneurship. Maspumala, Nati Melisibe, Abanda Bazolita, my project, Tenzagala, I would change Alo, 
abantu abangoda ke wahlezwe esemuva kulide abantu abamhlophe kuphela ama project a progressive in fact as a generation we must fight to ensure that at the early stages of education our children are taught about entrepreneurship to our unsung heroes abazali abasebenza makishini abadayesi emgaqweni abangathatha entweni abaqokela ukulala bengadlile ukuze sikwazi ukuphila thina izingane zawo sanibongela abazali sengathi unkunkula ngalo lisandla abantwana abeni noma bayiphumala bayithola imisebenzi Your children have made you proud, and I promise you that they will never forget the support you gave them throughout the university years. Parents, this success is your success. The degrees belong to you. Maybe some of the students here are the first graduates of the family. They have broken the, gener the generational blockage, and they will open doors for success. More joy and happiness. Let us celebrate and be thankful to God and our ancestors for this wonderful blessing day. One of the important things that I would like to share with you is that as we understand the status quo of our country, we therefore have a task as young people when we go out there to advocate for the socialist system and abolish any form of capitalism and neurocentrism by making certain that all means of production are owned by the majority, not the few. We must be inspired by the words of the late former black South African leader, Chris Hahn, when he defined socialism in the simplest term, and I quote, Socialism is not about, about big concepts and heavy theory. Socialism is about decent shelter for those who are homeless, it is about water for those who have no safe drinking water. It is about health care. It is about a life with, of dignity for the old. It is about overcoming the huge divide between urban and rural areas. It is about a decent education for all our people. Socialism is about rolling back the, tri the terrain of the market as long as the economy is, is dominated by an unelected privileged few the case for socialism will exist. And I close quote. In conclusion, with the intention of emphasizing Uguti, Ninga Ko, Shalapen Suga Kona, Ninga Bako, Shabazalbenu, Nivela Pienu, I would like to, to quote Marcus Gavi when he said, A people without knowledge of their past history, origin, and culture is like a tree without roots. I'm born in a Pagnina, my graduates, which call them to officer who found an islata, is in a name Marble, or Bassache Shugua. Before I sit down, I would like to convey a special recognition of my fellow progressive forces who are under impaired. No wonder, but a baby corner we struck me. Some student that became a single girl, women's in my toilet, Ruti, a man, Nessie, a Chinese track, a spagana, and a sola. What a Salmon and leadership. Congratulations. In the time of forty, who recognize Utrechara wa SRC, Ulianda, Ayanda, Zamin, Zotolusu Milita Shibekborn. We recognize the leadership Moba, Moni Lutu Koni Familia Kola, Usiswako na Ibezo Kwa Nam Tanje, Koni Familia Kwa, Yawa Zamin, Nabaram Zedge. 
Sanibengelela basa libaka liyanda. Siachabula futu kuti. Ni mfumelu liyanda. Umetufunu kuchohena na istraki. Ni kwa mgele lokoke. E mgane e e muthe. E njena. Siakubonga lokoke. With all this. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Nyabonga. Ni toli msebezi. Magukanya. Siabonga kuhu. The Chancellor, Chief Justice Zondo. I would also like to acknowledge the presence of, presence of Mrs. Zondo in the House. Members of Council, Chair of ARCC, Ms. J. Masitela. Unizulu, oh, acting Vice Chancellor, sorry, Professor Nomlomo. Unizulu Management, ESCO and Manco. Academic and support staff. President of Convocation and Alumni, SRC representatives, representatives from Umkwanazi Traditional Authority, chiefs of the local traditional authorities, mayors of districts, local municipalities, special guests, business partners, parents, guardians, relatives, sponsors, and now our graduates. The guest speaker, Dr. Peter Letualo. Good afternoon, San Bonan. Before I pass my gratitude, I would like to touch on a take home message from our guest speaker, Dr. Letualo. From what she said in her talk is that you don't want to wait when you get out of, of, of here but what you need to do, you have to try and get connected in order to get information on employees and perhaps you get more information on many other things that you need that will take you forward. For example, she gave us that um, AgriCita has an app which will be useful for you if uh, you download it so that you can be able to see the type of employees uh, for your a, a profession. And then the other thing that she said is that you have to have a goal and a vision of what you would like to do and be focused and not be uh, give up if there are any challenges. So we thank very much to you, uh, Dr. Letzau, for the insightful speech. I wish to extend my gratitude uh, to the key role players in your journey who collectively con contributed to making the ceremony a success. But first, I would like to thank uh, Chancellor uh, Chief Justice Zondo for honoring us with his presence for these two days. And we hope that, Chancellor, you have enjoyed the two days with us. <laughs> okay. Uh, my gratitude will first goes to the Vice Chancellor of the University, uh, Prof. Tose, for uh, leadership and guidance in making sure that uh, the graduation ceremonies are a success. The Deputy Vice Chancellors, the deans of respective faculties, for their work they have done or they do behind the scenes and on the graduation day and also the Dean of Students for his contributions. We cannot forget the lecturers and the professors who have worked so hard in making, making sure that you have this day, which is your graduation day, and now you are the graduate. The Office of the Registrar for their hard work for planning and ensuring that the graduation takes place. The Communication and Marketing Division, responsible for our visibility out there, for trending, we are trending these days, <laughs> during this special day. The Protective Service Division, for our safety. Information and Communication Technology Division, the Physical Planning and Operations Department, Health Services, 
which we have Dr. Mashaba and Sister Mukhanas and their team. The cleaning staff of the university in making sure they are keeping this place as it is. The flag bearers for their wonderful work. The SRC, and I cannot forget our entertaining university choir for the fantastic music they've been giving us. I would also like to thank everybody who is here, and most importantly, the graduates and families for making this day. And finally, congratulations to our graduates and best of luck with your future. Thank you. Honored guests, I hereby declare this congregation session officially closed. On behalf of the congregation, I thank you for your presence in this ceremony and now request everyone to stand.
Oh. Uh-huh.